Okay guys, you might wonder what in the world is going on? What is going on with the price of Saitama? Okay guys, now this is not Saitama's fault, okay? This is something much, much bigger. I think some of you know where I'm going with this. And I'm going to explain to you exactly what is going on, in my opinion, with everything here. But before we do that, guys, if you're part of the Wolf Pack, smash the like button if you're invested in this coin. By the way, guys, we are still giving away $500 in crypto this Friday. If you want to know how to enter in, I will put a link in the first comment. Okay, guys, so this is a much bigger issue as to what's going on. This is a broad market correction. Um, I don't believe personally that we're in a bear market, but if we... Uh, start to move much further down we might be headed into one we're gonna have to wait and see i'm still looking at this right here i'm looking at bitcoin and right now you can see bitcoin is hovering around forty-one thousand. Um, just a marker for me um, i've said in the past that there's a lot of buy orders in right now around the forty thousand level of bitcoin and if it falls below 40,000, I think that we are starting to go into a bear market. So I'm going to be watching the price of Bitcoin very closely. So we're going to have to wait and see. But in my opinion, I think that Bitcoin is going to bounce off of that 40,000 level just, just because of all the buying pressure that's at that $40,000 level. There's a lot of support there at 40,000. It's also a psychological support level. Now, this is what's going on, guys. This is what's concerning to me. And I'm going to give you the reason why. Guys, if you hang on and watch this whole video, I'm going to give you the reason why the overall market is down. This is a macroeconomic problem right now. So I'm going to read you this off a of coin market cap. So the global crypto market is $1.92 trillion, Okay, so it's down 3.43% over the last day. The total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is $86.2 billion which means a 41% decrease. Okay, that's a big decrease in volume. The total volume in DeFi is currently 14.69 billion, 17% of the overall crypto market. So 17% of the overall crypto market is in the DeFi space. The volume of all stable coins is now 68.23 billion. Remember yesterday I was talking about the possibility of taking a good portion, maybe half, my investments in crypto and moving them into stable coins so that doesn't seem to be too far off because right now the volume of all stable coins is 68.23 billion which is 79 percent of the total crypto market in the last 24 hours as far as volume is concerned bitcoin's price is currently at 41,086 dollars bitcoin's dominance is currently 40 percent an increase of 0.61 percent over the day so i think what's going on is you know, people are moving from riskier assets like crypto and some risky stocks, and they're getting into some more conservative uh, type of plays, some more conservative stocks, for example, and then also stable coins. I'm just waiting to see if we can just bounce off of the 40,000 level and start to move up from there. So let me read you a little bit of this article from Reuters. You can go check it out at Reuters.com. Hawkish Fed signals it may have to raise rates sooner to fight inflation. So, guys, a lot of this is being driven by the Fed. Driven by the Fed. So, this is not a Saitama issue. I know that some people are out there are saying, "Oh, it's because you know they left off Shinja, or you know they left off this coin, Luffy, or whatever." Um, you know, I believe that they're trying to really push and focus on uh, the investments in Lily. I see that that's what's going on in my opinion. And I don't think that Saitama is big enough to uh, have an effect on what's going on in the overall market. The overall macro market from a global standpoint and then a lot of stuff going on in the US is what is causing this problem right now in crypto. It's something much, much bigger than Saitama or even Bitcoin. So Washington, January 5th, a very tight job market and unabated inflation might require the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates sooner than expected and begin reducing its overall asset holdings as a second break on the economy, U.S. Central Bank policymakers said in their meeting last month. Right here, participants generally noted that given their individual outlooks for the economy, the labor market, and inflation, it may be warranted to increase the federal funds rate sooner or at a faster pace than participants have earlier anticipated. Some participants also noted that it could be appropriate to begin to reduce the size of the Federal Reserve's bank sh um, balance sheet relatively sooner after beginning a raise for the federal funds rate. 
Along with outlining their inflation concerns, officials said that even with the U.S. labor market more than 3 million jobs short of its pre-virus economy was closing in fast on what might be considered maximum employment, given the retirements and the other departures from the job market that have been prompted by the health crisis. Participants pointed to a number of signs that the U.S. labor market was very tight, including new record rates, quits, and job vacancies, as well as a notable pickup in wage growth, the minute said. Many participants judged that if the current price of improvement continued, labor markets would fast approach maximum employment. So this is an important thing to keep in mind. Fed Chair Jerome Powell will appear before the Senate Banking Committee next week for a hearing on his nomination for a second four-year term as head of the central bank and is likely to update his views about the economy at that time. So we'll have to watch that meeting closely, guys. So like I said, guys, this is a bigger macroeconomic issue right now. So this is bigger than Saitama. This is bigger than even crypto or Bitcoin and everything. So it's it has to do a lot about with uh, the stock market and the Fed raising interest rates and then the global economy and the supply chain shortage, all these things coming at the same time, the virus issues, all these things. So keep that in mind. Don't get down on something like Saitama and thinking that it's you know a horrible investment. So guys, let's go over here to coin market cap and look at the price. So we're less than half hour away and you can see that Saitama is down 8%, but you know this is not because this is a bad investment. In my view, this is a macroeconomic issue. This is bigger than crypto, Bitcoin. Um, this is you know a big problem. You know, you've got concerns with the virus, you've got concerns with inflation and the Fed hiking interest rates and then you've got a global supply chain shortage. The virus issues, there's so many issues going on right now that's putting pressure and people are moving from riskier assets into some more conservative ones. Let me know if you agree with me. I want to thank all of you that have subscribed to the channel and we will give you some more updates very soon. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit that notification bell for more updates on Saitama and other tokens very soon. I will see you very soon in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.